Hi, Brian here with you. Let's now take a look at this Peterman's uh, bound volume, which uh, is noteworthy for uh, initially uh, containing uh, four spectacular large folding detailed uh, color lithographed maps, all relating to uh, the southern coast line region of the continent of Australia. You see Lake Torrens here, which for a period of time prior to this was a thought to be a hook uh, shape, but in fact what we see here are various routes taken by. The, the level of detail on uh, these maps that I'll show you now is, is truly, uh, really astonishing and very pleasing indeed. Uh, all kinds of detail that's not possible on atlas maps of this vintage and that is in fact the reason why uh, these uh, Peterman volumes with their maps are often so uh, sought after and valuable today is they are special maps that were only issued within uh, this work uh, which we have here in front of us a bound volume of it. In fact it's a periodical which I'll show you the title page of now. It's, uh, these maps appear within this volume here. Uh, it's a series of uh, one, two, three, four, five separate issues uh, yep, by Peterman. It's his very famous work on a, a topographical and geographical work right here. 1871 is this first one we're looking at on Australia. Uh, and it's the state of Australia in 1871. So we have not only those four maps which I just showed you, but the article that accompanied them, the original article. And that is actually followed by, in this bound volume here, this next issue, uh, 1872, uh, of the Central Alps with this uh, wood engraved frontis here. And then We'll see, we have uh, this further back is this folding map here of the Alps. And then we get into another article with three different original maps. And then again, we're still in the Alps. And here, after the article, like so, comes this, this, and this giant folding detailed map like so showing the uh, elevations of land. A nice, beautiful color lithographed folding map like so. And that is followed as well uh, by this uh, peopling, uh, peoples of the, of the earth, like this, people of the world. And it is like so. There are no illustrations in this one, but it's just all tables, graphs, and uh, so on. Uh, and then we're followed uh, by this great uh, travel account here of 1865 until 1867, a German uh, travel uh, account of Rolf's in 1872. And this article here, there's the foreword, and here's the contents, and here is the journey account like so, which is followed by, after that, this really great large folding color lithographed map of the interior regions uh, of northern Africa here. There's the coastline up at the top. Here's the title, 1866, The Rice, The Travels of Rolf in 1866. The level of detail here is really astonishing. There are dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of specific tiny little uh, place names. Uh, that would never appear on atlas maps of this vintage. The scale just simply doesn't allow for it. Uh, <clears throat> and you'll notice that the contents and the maps are all very clean and fresh. It's just the binding uh, of this work that is a bit worn. And here is yet another close-up uh, near Lagos, uh, Nigeria. And there's Benin here. So this is the west coast Yorubas, the west coast of Africa here like so. And this map, yes. And now we reach the end. It's in a period of binding uh, like this with a leather spine lettered with a little chalk, early chalk number there, um, sort of printed marbled covered uh, boards here. And so this uh, book 
this bound volume is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.